So from there, 8 plus 4y squared is equal to minus 12 times y. As you can see, this, this, this would work. Would be multiplied by this. Are you following me? So from here, I said that 8 plus 4y squared is equal to minus 12y. Now, if you bring this in here, that would become, and you take this, okay, you bring it here, that will become 4y squared plus 12y plus 8 is equal to 0. Now, it's a quadratic equation. It's a quadratic equation. So, even from here, okay. let's divide. Please stop talking, please. Sir, the please. Sir, don't worry. Divide through by 4. So that will become 4y squared divided by 4 plus 12y divided by 4 plus 8 divided by 4 is equal to 0 divided by 4. Now, why did I do this? The reason is that I've looked at what we have here, and I discovered that what? That 4 can go round. 4 can divide 4 here. 4 can divide. It's just a matter of sense. You look at it based on your understanding of what? Multiplication table and division. So you look at it. So if you divide 2 by 4, the reason for that is so that the work you'll be doing will be simplified. That is the reason for that. Or that is the purpose of that. So your work will be simplified. So from here, I can say that this will become what? 4y squared divided by 4. That will become what? y squared plus 12 divided by 4. That is 3. So 3y plus 2 is equal to what? 0. Because 0 divided by 4 is 0. So from here, what do I do? So that is y squared plus 3y plus 2 is equal to what? 0. So from the other right, I'll now solve what using the quadratic by factorization. Hmm? Because it's now a quadratic equation. I'll solve it by factorization. So what do I do? Looking at this, looking at this, I'll say that, okay, I'll look for two numbers. Then I multiply them together, I'll get two. And when I add or subtract, I'll what? I'll get three. So that'll be, of course, obviously it's two and one, isn't it? So that will be y squared plus 2y plus y plus 2 is equal to 0. This will cover this. This will cover this. So I'll factorize. What's common here? y. So that will be y plus 2. What's common here? 1. y plus 2. So that will be what? y plus 1. So I'm taking one of these because whatever I have here must be what I'll have here. So y plus 2 is equal to 0. So that will be y plus 1 is equal to 0, or y plus 2 is equal to 0. These are we solve the quadratic equation. So what do you do from here? So that will become y is equal to minus 1, or y is equal to minus 2. So you have two answers here. That's it. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. So let's take a look at one more question. Let's take a look at. Let's take a, let's take a look at one more question. Then we'll move to the next phase. Maybe we should just move to the next phase. Undefined fractions. 
Undefined fractions. Undefined fractions. Undefined fractions. So it's a new topic, undefined fractions. It's still on the algebraic fraction, but it's a new subtopic. Are we done writing? We should be done writing, huh? I believe we are done. Yes. So the new subtopic is undefined fraction. Now, a fraction, how do you say, when do you know a fraction is undefined? There's something in my mind that we call undefined. Now, a fraction is undefined when the value of the denominator is what? Zero. A fraction, a fraction is undefined. A fraction is undefined when the value, when the value of the denominator is equal to zero. So once this is zero, once the denominator is zero, then your answer is what? Undefined. I say it's undefined, that means it cannot be what? It cannot be solved. It's giving you an infinity answer. For example, if you have EG, if you have two divided by zero, you cannot say two divided by zero is two. And you cannot say two divided by zero is zero. The response you will give is that what it is what undefined. That is your statement. It is undefined. That is what you would say. So if, for example, If, for example, they say you are giving questions, say find the values, find the values, find the values of X for which the following fraction. Are undefined. For which the following fractions are undefined. So now let's say A, five all over x minus five. And maybe I say B, four x open bracket x open bracket x minus six, and then C. I say x squared for C, for question C, I say x squared minus 3x plus 2 all over 3x squared minus 9x. Those are the question. Now, recall the question. They said that what? Find the value of x for which the following fractions are undefined. I remember that by definition, from the definition we have, we said that what? A fraction is said to be undefined. When what? When the value of the denominator is zero. So now, for a question like this, 
what they're simply asking you is that what do you need to do to make the denominator zero? That's what they are asking you. That's what you are being asked. This, these are critical wire questions. Are you following me? These are critical wire questions. So what they are simply asking you is, okay, what do you need to do to ensure that what? Are you not done writing? I'm done. So typically, what you are being asked here is that for what value, for what value of x is the fraction undefined? And you should remember, if you remember the definition of what um, undefined, undefined simply means that what it means that the, the denominator is what zero. The value of the denominator is zero. So if I take the first question for instance, we said that. 5 all over x minus 5. What I just need to do is what? I remove the, I extract the denominator. I extract the denominator. That's what I'll do first. I'll extract the denominator from the denominator. Which is x minus 5. So remember that my denominator must be 0. Must be equal to zero. So I just say it's equal to what? Zero. My denominator x minus five is equal to zero. I put it there. So what do I need to do? So what will be the value of x? Now the x is equal to what? By the time I bring five, then I'll become five. So that means x needs to be five. Now if you test it to so check, if we check it, that would be what? Five all over what? Instead of writing x, you now write what? Five. We're testing it with this question. So that'll be five minus five, which is what? Five all over what? Zero. So it is correct. This is your answer. It's correct. Remember that your aim is to ensure that the denominator is zero. The next question. The next question. What do you do? The same thing. They said 4x all over x open bracket x minus 6. Now, you need it to be zero. Abi, you need it to be on the five. What do you need to do? So what do you do? You take out the denominator. What is the denominator? X, open bracket, X minus six is equal to zero. Now, this is a quadratic equation, whether you like it or not. But you don't need to, you don't need to stress yourself by trying to solve it like that. So what do you do? What I'll just do is that, that, okay, therefore, because this is X and this is X, Minus six. So I say, okay, therefore, therefore, x is equal to zero or x minus six is equal to zero. That's how you do it. The first one is what? x is equal to zero or x minus six is equal to zero. So that will still mean that x will be equal to zero. Y, x will be equal to what? Or x is equal to what? Six. Now, what this means is that the only time that if your x is zero, so let's test it. Let's check. So these are your answers, so zero and six. If your x is zero, that would be four open bracket what? Zero, all over what? Zero, open bracket zero minus six. So at the end of the day, your denominator is what? Zero times zero. I mean, zero times minus six is still zero. So it tells you that it is what? Undefined. Now, if your, if it is six, that will be four, open bracket six, open bracket what? Six, open bracket six minus six. Now this will be 24, all over what? Six minus six is what? Zero. So that is six times zero. So it's telling you that it is what? Zero. So yes, correct. So basically what you need to do is that whenever you are given a question, you equate it to zero in order for you to make it what undefined. You make the denominator equal to zero. Simple. That is all. So let's solve the last question.
So let's take a look at the last question. I'm sure we are doing right thing. Let's take a look at the final question. Question the same rule applies. The last question I said x squared x squared minus 3x plus 2 divided by what 3x squared minus 9x. Now let's take a look at this x squared minus 3x plus 2 all over what 3x squared minus 9x. The same rule applies. Now, what do I mean by that? We know that what? We know that we are taking it from our denominator, from the denominator. Three X squared minus nine X will be equal to what? Zero, we equate it to zero. Are you following me? We equate it to zero. And then from there, what do we do? What do we do? We can factorize. Let's take a look at them. It's some common things that three is common in both sides. And x is also common in both sides. So that would be 3x, open bracket one, x minus 3 is equal to 0. So if you look at it very well, you see it. 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times minus 3 is what? Minus 9x. So you can see it's OK that way. So what do we do? We said that what? Then we now separate. We say that 3x is equal to 0, or x minus 3 is equal to 0. So that would be 3. That would be x is equal to 0 divided by 3, or x is equal to what? 3. Very simple. Very simple. So that means x is equal to 0, or x is equal to what? 3. That's just it. So if you check it, you still discover that your answer is the correct answer. So by way of assignment, I'm going to give you guys an assignment now. I'll tell you how to submit it. What you do is you do it on a sheet of paper, you take a picture of it, and you upload it on your Google Classroom. That is the only place I will mark it so that you can be graded. No marking paper, no marking from, from phone, I'm not marking from WhatsApp. So let me give you guys the assignments. Determine, so assignment. I'll give us just, just three questions. I'll give us just four questions. Just four questions. Just four questions. Solve the equation. X minus two over X minus four is equals to X minus eight all over X plus two. That is the first question. The second question. Y is equals to 6Y all over 5Y minus 4. So that is question number two. So in this case, you are solving equation. In this case, you are solving what? Equation. Or the other one.
For this other one, number three. Determine the value of X. For which the expression is undefined. Number one, you have seven all over x, open bracket, seven minus two x. Okay, let's call this number three. Then number four, five all over x squared minus six x plus nine. So those are the four questions. Uh, um, sorry, I can't see this in the X for which the what? Is for which the expression is undefined, undefined. Okay, okay. So please, like I said, it's on our Google Classroom we're going to submit that. Assignment. I don't want anybody submitting on the WhatsApp group. This same question will be placed. How are we going to get? How are we I'll give you the don't worry, I'll give you the explanation. Everything you learn is don't worry. It's not even me too. I'm still learning it. But I just believe it's the better way. Stand away, stop that. We are done. We've all written the assignment, so we'll call it a day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.